It's week nine. Let's get reading. Day 59. Job 42. Then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do anything and no plan of yours can be thwarted. You asked, who is this who conceals my counsel with ignorance? Surely I spoke about things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. You said, listen now, and I will speak. When I question you, you will inform me. I had heard rumors about you, but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore, I take back my words and repent in dust and ashes. After the Lord had finished speaking to Job, he said to Eliphaz the Temanite, I am angry with you and your two friends, for you have not spoken the truth about me as my servant Job has. Now take seven bulls and seven rams, go to my servant Job, and offer a burnt offering for yourselves. Then my servant Job will pray for you. I will surely accept his prayer and not deal with you as your folly deserves. For you have not spoken the truth about me, as my servant Job has. Then Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Naamathite went and did as the Lord had told them. And the Lord accepted Job's prayer. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his prosperity and doubled his previous possessions. All his brothers, sisters, and former acquaintances came to the house and dined with him in his house. They sympathized with him and comforted him concerning all the adversity the Lord had brought on him. Each one gave him a kesita and a gold earring. So the Lord blessed the last part of Job's life more than the first. He owned 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. He named his first daughter Jemima, his second Kizia, and his third Karen Hapu. No woman is beautiful as Job's daughters could be found in all the land and their father granted them an inheritance with their brothers. Job lived 140 years after this and saw his children and their children to the fourth generation. Then Job died old and full of days. Proverbs 31 The words of King Lemuel An oracle that his mother taught him what should I say, my son? What son of my womb? What son of my vows? Don't spend your energy on women or your efforts on those who destroy kings. It is not for kings, Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine or for rulers to desire beer. Otherwise they will drink, forget what is decreed, and pervert justice for all the oppressed. Give beer to the one who is dying and wine to one whose life is bitter. Let him drink so that he can forget his poverty and remember his trouble no more. Speak up for those who have no voice, for the justice of all who are dispossessed. Speak up, judge righteously, and defend the cause of the oppressed and needy. Who can find a capable wife? She's far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will not lack anything good. She rewards him with good, not evil, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with willing hands. She's like the merchant ships bringing her food from far away. She rises while it is still night and provides food for her household and portions for her female servants. She evaluates a field and buys it. She plants a vineyard with her earnings. She draws on her strength and reveals that her arms are strong. She sees that her profits are good and her lamp never goes out at night. She extends her hands to the spinning staff and her hands hold the spindle. Her hands reach out to the poor and she extends her hands to the needy. 
She's not afraid for her household when it snows, for all in her household are doubly clothed. She makes her own bed coverings. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known at the city gates where he sits among the elders of the land. She makes and sells linen garments. She delivers belts to the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she can laugh at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and loving instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the activities of her household and is never idle. Her sons rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. Many women are capable, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised. Give her the reward of her labor and let her works praise her at the city gates. And once again, hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And I will see you tomorrow night for a reading in a new translation. Blessings. No, without a doubt, you'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads, I'm lost without a clue. I need a big pink neon sign to show me what to do. I thank you, Lord. It glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet. I want to thank you, Lord, for believing.